I am Amit Raj Sinha. I am the Managing Director of Sigachi Industries Private Limited. Uh, Sigachi Industries Private Limited is a 25 year old multi-locational, multi-product company. Sigachi was incorporated in 89 as in the school. And uh, as I understand, um, my father Mr. Sinha had a tough time getting things in place for getting uh, the industry moving. Uh, but uh, by the time the industry was moving, I was out and uh, I, uh, on my own wish, uh, joined the military service. I had my training of three and a half years and uh, till 2005 I was in the military service. I took premature retirement and I joined back. When I joined back the business, I realized that uh, Sigachi had already grown leaps and bounds and uh, was moving ahead in the market, very well acknowledged in the, uh, among the customers. And the day I joined, my father told me one thing. He said, you have to work at the grassroots level and you have to know things backwards. You have to know everything by heart. It's not that you go and sit in the cabin and learn everything as if it was presented to you. So I was put in the factory for, the, for literally two years and I was on the production floor with the production people and doing everything they did other than manual labor. So that helped me because basically I am a mechanical engineer with a marine engineering background and this is all chemistry. So it, that helped me to take a good grasp of what exactly happens in the production, what exactly happens in the quality and the way people think, the way people uh, move around the parameters on which the process fail. These things help me to have a you know bottoms up approach. I got to learn a lot of things. Subsequently, after two years, I was moved to the head office. I was handed over uh, finance and I was made to look into the details of you know the working capital, the term loan and all that. And that way I got a good grasp of the finances which are uh, required in the business. Uh, we have our facilities which uh, are in three different locations. Uh, our Hyderabad plant facility is WHO GMP approved and it is uh, the older facility. Here we have facility for uh, making microcrystalline cellulose which is a spray drying and bulk drying. In the Chagadia facility, the second unit in Gujarat state, uh, we have only bulk drying where we are catering to the industrial grade customers and the local customers. The H the facility which is in the special economic zone is a facility which is as per the United States Food and Drug Administration and European Directorate of Quality and Medicine. Uh, Sigachi Hyderabad unit has a R&D facility which is approved by the Government of India Ministry of Science and Technology. Here we have managed to produce a chemical entity where we have named it as Bravo. This Bravo is basically a clonated synthetic resin and used in the adhesive paint printing ink industry. The innovation here is that we have managed to uh, use it from the chemical formula till the pilot plant scale. We are in the process of pro um, taking the environmental clearance for taking up the facility and making it a commercial success. Our second innovation has been the place wherein we have reduced our um, uh, the horsepower and the water consumption which is a process patent which is uh, acknowledged and printed in the Indian Patent Office. I'll tell you way back in 18, uh, 1996 uh, when we started our microcrystalline cellulose plant we approached Dr. Reddy Labs for our product and uh, they said that you know your facility and your quality is not up to the mark and they would not take it. It took us one year but in that one year we managed to get up to the standards of quality in the product and the facility and after that year the product was approved by the R&D team, the commercial team commenced production with our MCC and today it is one among the top 10 customers of Sigachi. Dear Dr. Reddy Labs have been taking material from us since the last 12 years. Uh, we are a pharma product company, so quality is paramount to us. Uh, we have designed the facility, the infrastructure and the equipments in such a way that the quality is positive always. Nonetheless, uh, we have quality systems in place wherein our facilities are WHO GMP approved, GMP approved and as per the norms of US FDA and EDQM. This ensures that every product which is produced out of the Sigachi facility is as per international standards and conforming to quality. Sigachi uh, as on date is uh, into the bulk chemical which is a cloned paraffin oil and the microcrystalline cellulose excipients uh, which is for the pharma industry. Uh, the unique points for our pharma industry product would say I would say in quality and in terms of uh, capacity enhancement. As on date, Sigachi is the biggest manufacturer of microcrystalline cellulose in India. We are catering to all the big customers of pharma as far as their requirements of microcrystalline cellulose and other co-processed excipients is concerned. We have gone through 25 years of uh, good growth. 
uh, have seen through lots of ups and downs and finally we are in a position today where we uh, started off with a, you know a group of seven people today we are employing 305 people so i would say that uh, this growth period has been very positive for us most important thing i would say is the never say die attitude uh, that is by far the most uh, uh, i would award that the maximum weightage of uh, entrepreneur spirit because uh, entrepreneur always faces challenges and one is always to look around it to see which way one can overcome it and move ahead in his direction of objective. The second uh, point which uh, you know helps you succeed is having good liaison with the financial institutes, having good liaison with the statutory regulatory bodies. All these things help you in your uh, movement towards your objective, towards your goal. Uh, being a pharma company, we have a customer support in place. We have an ISO quality system in place wherein we have a customer redressal system. We have a customer register complaint system and we look into the exact cause, the root cause of the system uh, failure or the people failure and we work out to see which way it can be done so that there is a corrective and preventive action to it and we are able to support the customer in terms of not having any kind of repetitions on that particular issue. We had a lot of issues I would say when an entrepreneur begins uh, he has a vision, he has a goal in his mind and he has to have a team which supports that goal. So he has to inspire the people to you know be to that level wherein he can uh, lead and the others can follow. So getting the right people was one of the biggest issues or I would say biggest challenge. In fact, I would put it this way that even as on date, getting and hiring and retaining the best people in the industry is still a challenge for SMEs. Our first major achievement was uh, four years after we commissioned our first plant. That was in 1993 when we got the national award for entrepreneurship. It was given by Sri Shankar Dayal Sharma to Mr. Sinha. He was a managing director of Sigachi then. Subsequent to that, we had a lean period uh, and then again in 2010, we got uh, another national award uh, from the President of India and 2011, we got another national award from the President of India. After that, uh, we had in the same year, we had an innovation award uh, for our efforts in the new product which we have developed. We have a system in place wherein uh, we are sponsoring a uh, couple of uh, teachers in the local school in the village where we are based out in Hyderabad and uh, that support system helps the kids learn and uh, get educated in a much cheaper way than what it would have been. Uh, this is more of a uh, system support wherein the society helps the complete school and every uh, industry in the society helps a respective or a group of teachers. This is one way. The other way we have is we have, you know, um, uh, as an industry, we have rainwater harvesting system wherein we have water collected during the rains and it helps us build up our groundwater so that as and when we have a requirement, uh, we can use it to our benefit. We are a, uh, you know, 25 year old company. As on date, uh, we have a vision that by 2025, 2025, uh, we would be a 1000 crores company employing the top 2% of the chemical and pharma industry people in our company. Uh, my advice to the budding entrepreneurs would be that, you know, you have to uh, have your dream intact. Uh, there are lots of occasions when you're near and dear one sometimes, sometimes your friends try to steal away your dream and tell that this isn't worth it or this isn't going to work out. But if your dream and your gut feeling says that it is going to work out, you should. You should and there are going to be a lot of hurdles. You have to push through it because at the end, when you once you realize the dream, you believe that it is going to be possible and you see it coming true in actual way. Second thing I would say is that you have to work out and make it presentable. You know, idea which is there in your mind is not an idea till the time it is sold to the financer. So you have to work it out, put it on a paper and, you know, make it presentable to the company or a partner who is going to willing to invest. Once that is done, then, you know, sky is the limit for you.